Hey, good morning. It is Monday, October the 23rd, and I have a question for you. How often do you worry about, or how much energy do you put in worrying about things that might happen? You know, the unexpected, which we all have. You know, stuff happens. But a lot of people, many people, put a lot of worry energy into things that may never ever happen and they happen in all areas of our life so uh, hey my name is Royal and I am in my backyard in Hearst Texas at about sunrise and uh, I am teaching through a series at, on fear and dealing with fear so the next couple of weeks that will be my topic on um, my morning devotionals Monday through Friday so we'll be dealing with anxiety and uh, and I think for most of us it'll be very helpful it really helped me helps me remember to stay out of the worry uh, box but uh, Julius Caesar actually said no one is so brave that he is not disturbed by something unexpected it's that worry it's that worry of how we're gonna handle the thing that is unexpected and and fear just you know fear can just ruin your life a little bit of fear can cause problems in your life it it limits your potential it messes up relationships it it robs you of your happiness it keeps you from living that full life of peace and confidence and contentment which which God wants you to live so Hey, let me open us up with prayer, and today we're going to be in Proverbs 3, 25, and 26. And, uh, Heavenly Father, today may we keep your name holy. May we keep you above everything else. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Uh, would you forgive us of the things we do wrong? And Lord, would you point out the things we need to ask forgiveness for? May we forgive those who hurt us instantly so we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the many negative influences and temptations that are around us all the time. And today, Lord, no matter what happens, if it's good stuff or bad stuff, we're going to give you glory because we know that you're going to use those things to make us better and stronger and have more faith. And we thank you for that. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, fear really limits you. It really limits you. But it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Things are gonna happen, and uh, that's what we're gonna deal with the rest of this week. Is 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 dealing with the unexpected, and and you know, and, and I think you just have to get to the point where you realize that stuff is gonna happen, but you can't live your life waiting for that pin to drop. You know what I'm saying? You you you've got to be going forward, and. Uh, Here's, here's what it says in Proverbs 3, 25 and 26. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or destruction that comes upon the wicked. Hmm. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or destruction that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord is your security. In other words, he's saying, look, the people that are away from God they have something to worry about because the only thing they have to fall back on is themselves and their own talents and their own strengths and, and their own ability to be confident in themselves or the things that are going on around them or the things that they're doing. But, but for the Christian, the Lord is your security. So in a roundabout way, this is saying, look, if you're worrying if you worry and you're a Christian, it's because it's because you don't have faith. You're acting like someone who doesn't have faith. You're you're acting like, and I know the word wicked is a is a is a tough word for people to hear, but anytime anytime the Bible uses words like wicked or evil, it's talking about people that are not that don't have faith in God, that are not relying on God. They're relying on themselves and the things of the world. So let me say that again. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or destruction. Stuff's going to happen. It's going to happen. And the way the people away from God handle it is it's all on them. 
it's all on them. But for the Lord is your security, our security. If you're a believer, the Lord is your security. That's where you're going to get your comfort. That's where you're going to get your strength. That's where you're going to get your confidence. That's where you're going to know that, hey, even though this thing is hard, it's going to make me stronger and it's going to make me better for the next. God is going to use this in a way that will glorify him and he'll be proud of his son or daughter because we're going to handle it knowing that God is in charge. Here's what it says. He will keep your foot from being caught in the trap. God will keep your foot from being caught in the trap. If you're depending on him, what's the trap? Worry. What's the trap? Focusing on that thing and not focusing on God. That's the trap. That's the trap. Hey, does that help? Look at that. Go back and look at that verse. And remember that the, the wicked are the people that are away from God. So we don't want to be like the wicked. Matter of fact, we want to show people that are away from God how a person who depends on God handles things when they come up. So here's, here's my prayer for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and comfort. I will live in your peace trusting in you all I do and all I do I will relax in your love grace and mercy my security is in you and not in the things of this world which include myself my security is not in myself or in the things of this world I will stay in the peace zone even when problems are happening all around me I will not get trapped into the anxiety of fear Thank you, God, for protecting me. Hey, look, stuff happens. And we have to remember that God is large is in, large and in charge. Hey, I hope this uh, encourages you. Uh, if it does, please pass it on to someone else who may be encouraged. Like this. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube or, or Facebook page. And um, I will see you tomorrow, the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and he'll use you to change the world, I promise. And hey, if you want to ask a question or something, comment, and I will reply. God bless.